I'm Keith Ledford, National Sales Manager for AAB Smart Tool. Here at AAB Smart Tools, we harness the power of your smartphone to make our tools accurate, affordable, and easy to use. Today we're going to be talking about the Temp Smart 100, the newest tool from AAB Smart Tools. An efficient data logging, relative humidity, temperature reading device that can be your eyes and ears in a building when you're not there. Conveniently packaged in a single pack, comes with a quarter 20 bolt, alligator clip attaches to your keychain, or a six pack if you want to data log multiple locations at the same time. So let's get started. So how do we connect to the TempSmart 100? We push the two buttons on the side. Now we have blue light blinking to tell us that it needs to connect to our Bluetooth smart device. It also exposes our sensor to the Airstream. We need to make sure that our device has Bluetooth enabled on it. Now let's go back. Now that my TempSmart 100 is open, I'm going to tap here to connect. Now it's going to go out and recognize that I have a TempSmart 100 out there that I'm allowed to connect to. Now that my smartphone Bluetooth enabled device has recognized the TempSmart 100, I'm ready to pair. Simply click on the icon and it will begin to connect. It's as simple as that. One of the benefits for the Temp Smart 100 is being able to put the device in different parts of your house and naming them different things, master bedroom, kitchen, living room, and going back in an easy process, Bluetooth to each device and have a data reader of temperature, relative humidity, feels like temperature, and wet bulb at your fingertips. Right now, I'm going to log on to Keys Temp. And as you can see, I have temperature, relative humidity, that it allows me to, depending on which one I want to be more prevalent. And then I have my feels like temperature, my dew bulb, and my wet bulb. So now we're going to go to our data logging feature. I have my AAB Smart Tool tripod that I've put my Temp Smart 100 on. And I'm going to come over to my data logging feature. So you can see that I've logged the last 27 hours of temperature and 27 hours of relative humidity. Living in Florida, you can see I have a change in relative humidity in that amount of time, even though my temperature stayed kind of constant. So how do I set up my data logger? Okay, I'm going to tell it to start a new log. And it's going to ask me if it's okay to end this log. I'm going to put yes. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to set up my interval. I can set it up once an hour, once every two hours, wh whatever increment that I feel comfortable with. If I want to read once a day or if I want to read once a second, I have the ability to do it. It's going to read over 32,000 data points and store that information for me. On this particular one, I'm going to log every five minutes. I want it to take a reading for me. I'm going to click Done. It's going to set my new data log and I'll be able to go back and look at it and know and feel confident that I'll have a data log reading every five minutes of temperature, relative humidity, wet bulb, feels like temperature. So now that I've captured my data logging, how does that help me as a service technician or as a homeowner? As a homeowner, I can review the things around my house that may be important to keep my temperature and relative humidity in check. Maybe it's a humidor. Maybe it's a wine cooler. As a service tech, I can go back to the homeowner and say, let's see if you really have a problem in your house and let's see if there's different temperatures throughout your house. So if I leave my TempSmart 100 in an office, I can data log those points throughout an office where maybe one person's hot, one person's cold, and I can go back and try to balance the air throughout that building to make it easier for that company to have the most productivity. So once I capture my data log, I can actually email it to myself. I'm going to push settings and then I'm going to come down to export data, click options, and you can see I can either give you a historical reading or I can give you a current reading that I'm going to email to a customer. So now I can type in my email 
click send, and I've emailed a copy of my data log to either a customer, myself, my boss, a business owner, anyone who wants to read that data log can now view the data log that I've done over the past several days. So now that I've exported and emailed the report to myself, what's it look like? So I'm going to pull up my email and you can see over a period of two days, 160 data points. It tells me a date stamp and all the readings that I've taken. Valuable information when you go back to talk to a homeowner, a customer, or that light commercial customer that you're showing what happened in their building when no one was there. One of the most common questions homeowners have, if I click over here to the bottom right, is my comfort zone feature. Homeowners often ask, what temperature and relative humidity should I keep in my home? According to the Association of Heating and Air Conditioning Engineers, they recommend it in this range. At the bottom is the temperature. Going up along the side is the relative humidity. I can change it for either heating or cooling and it tells me where most humans feel comfortable at in that range. You can access this great feature of the app just by pressing the comfort zone button at the bottom of the app. Thank you for joining our presentation of the TS100. For more information, go to our website, aabsmart.com.